If you're looking for the best cameras for photography in 2021 then you've come to the right place. Every camera in this video has been tested thoroughly in a variety of real-world settings to make sure it deserves to be in our list of the finest stills camera in the world today. Welcome back to another episode of Lifescape, the home of product reviews on YouTube. We provide honest, impartial reviews of the most popular products, so you can make the absolute most of your next purchase. Subscribe to the channel now, so you're always up to date with all of our hottest uploads. In this video, we are going to be going through our selection of the top 5 digital cameras on Amazon. Let's get into it. Fujifilm X-T4 It isn't a full-frame camera, but the Fujifilm X-T4 is the best APS-C camera we've ever tested, and right now, it offers the best blend of features, size and value for most photographers. The X-T4 builds on the Fujifilm X-T3's impressive foundation by adding in-body image stabilization, IBIS, faster burst shooting and some successful design tweaks. Adding to its all-rounder skills are a bigger battery, which keeps it going for 500 shots per charge, and some improved autofocus, which is fast and reliable in most scenarios. The X-T4's 26MP APS-C sensor remains class-leading for stills photography, but the X-T4 is also a superb video camera. The IBIS is a big bonus here, and the X-T4 backs that up with a huge range of tools and a great shooting experience, including a fully articulating touchscreen. It might cost the same as many full-frame cameras, but the X-T4 and its fine range of X-series lenses make a great, smaller alternative for those looking for a mirrorless all-rounder. Canon EOS R6 While the Canon EOS R5 is overkill for most people, the EOS 6 South African RAND is a more affordable full-frame alternative that is simply one of the best cameras for photography around today. If you already own one of Canon's early mirrorless full-framers like the EOS R, or any of its DSLRs, this is a more than worthy upgrade. The EOS R6 brings best-in-class autofocus, a superb in-body image stabilization system, and burst shooting powers that mark it out as a very fine camera for wildlife or sports photography. Despite its ability to shoot 4K 60p video, the EOS R6 lacks options like the ability to DCI 4K and has overheating limitations compared to video focused rivals like the Sony A7S III, making it better suited to stills photographers. But for photography, it's an excellent, if pricey, option that delivers hugely impressive autofocus, handling, and features that make it one of the best options around for anyone who needs a full frame camera. Sony A7R4 Landscape photographers often demand megapixels, dynamic range and weatherproofing, and the Sony A7R4 ticks all of those boxes in style. Its 61MP sensor delivers incredible detail, and you can bump up that resolution with its pixel shift mode. Not that it's only comfortable shooting spectacular scenery, you also get Sony's excellent face and IAF tracking for human subjects. A deep grip makes the A7R4 comfortable to use during long days out in the field, while the weather ceiling is a big step up from the A7R3. You also get a bright, sharp 5.76 million dot electronic viewfinder, although the touchscreen controls are a bit more limited than more recent Sony cameras like the A7S III. Still, this doesn't stop the A7R4 from being the most desirable in its class, and it even shoots decent video, albeit with some rolling shutter. Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV Looking for compact mirrorless camera to help develop your photographic skills? The OMD EM10 Mark IV is one of the best options around and offers great value considering its feature set. A useful flip-down touchscreen and good ergonomics make it a fine option for beginners who are moving up from a smartphone or compact camera. And because the EM10 Mark IV is a micro four-thirds camera, it has one of the biggest selections of lenses around, which means it's a model that can really grow with you. On the downside, it lacks a microphone or USB-C ports, and the autofocus lags a little behind rivals like the Sony A6100, see below. So while the latter is a better bet for sports or action shooting, the EM10 Mark IV is a more fun camera to use and is one of the few at this price point to bring in-body image stabilization, a very handy bonus for handheld shooting. Nikon D3500 this list is dominated by mirrorless cameras, but if you still prefer the benefits of DSLRs, namely, their handling, superior battery lives and value, then the Nikon D3500 is the best one around for beginners. Taking the baton from the hugely successful Nikon D3400, it brings a 24MP APS-C sensor and an incredible 1550 shot battery life that beats the stamina of most mirrorless cameras by about 3 times. The useful guide mode is there to walk beginners through creating effects like a blurred background, while the Nikon DX system has a vast array of lenses. If you're starting out, 
We'd recommend buying the D3500 with the AFP DX18 to 55mm f/3.5 to 5.6G VR lens, as it brings handy vibration reduction for very little extra cost. Those looking for a travel-friendly camera should still consider mirrorless alternatives like the Fujifilm X-T200 and Canon EOS M50 Mark II, but otherwise this remains a brilliant way to learn the photographic basics and start your new hobby. And with that, we've reached the end of this video of our selection of the top 5 digital cameras on Amazon. Which of our entries is your favorite and you would most like to own? Perhaps you know of some other cool products in this category that we didn't include? Get involved, and let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, click the notification bell and subscribe to Lifescapes for even more awesome product reviews, just like this one. Also, drop a like on the video so we know to keep them coming. As always, thanks for watching. Remember, we try and review the most popular products, so you don't have to. See you in the next one.